Hey everybody, this is Charlie from Charlie Cobra Reviews, and this is our review for the movie Cargo. Uh, this movie was a decent zombie flick. I think it benefited in being filmed in Australia, giving it a different setting from most other zombie movies, and from being more character-driven plot-wise. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't a lot of zombie action, and it really wasn't that scary. Um, what it lacked in that department, though, it really made up for in keeping the tension as Andy has to take care of a baby during the zombie apocalypse. Um, plus, the premise was pretty unique as the main character already knows he only has a certain amount of time, and so he's on the clock from the get-go to accomplish his mission. Uh, to me, it seemed like a fresh take or a unique version in the zombie genre. Um, this movie had quite a few emotional scenes, too, as I as was expected with the premise. Um, I really want to say more, but I feel like I'm already giving away too much in this spoiler-free section, so I'll save the rest for the spoiler section. And in this review, I gave this movie a 6 out of 10. Um, as I mentioned, there'll be spoilers after this section. Now, I like this movie. I mean, it was an emotional journey of a father trying to find a safe place and people to take care of his baby daughter before he turns into a zombie. That's a great premise. Uh, Martin Freeman, um, you know, also puts on quite a good performance as he portrays the character Andy on this journey. Um, the backdrop of Australia was beautiful as the setting in this movie, too. You know, this film was well-written, plot, and tense, you know, atmosphere. Uh, but for me personally, didn't quite reach um, fair enough into the horror genre to scare you. And like I said, there's not enough zombie action. What it did have was added tension from the characters of other survivors and not knowing how they would deal with Andy being infected. I really like some of the small details like how the little girl Thumi made modifications to her shoes so her mother couldn't find her tracks or how she painted her face with stuff to hide her smell from the zombies. I even like the villain's motivations and reasoning because they seemed realistic and very believable. Still, it has me on the fence a bit because it feels like it was missing something when being considered a zombie movie. I wanted to rate it higher, but personally feel like it deserves the score I gave of a 7 out of 10. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to check out this review. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This was movie number 5 of our 31 Days of Halloween movie challenge, so stay tuned for the next scary movie review. And remember to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.